Hi, this is Tim. In the last video, we talked about the TTL of the ping function, and mainly that as we go through a device that would route something from one network to another network, that TTL gets subtracted by one. But I didn't actually explain to you what it's used for, because really the way Ethernet networking can work, really packets could bounce around for virtually ever if they had somewhere to continue to route. So the TTL says, this is the maximum number of routes I want to take before I want you to discard me. So we're going to set up the same experiment we did last time, where our laptop, in fact, let me just type here, IP config. Our laptop is configured for 192, 168, 10, 107, with the gateway of 192, 168, 10, 1. And then on our Stratix switch, I have this VLAN or this first four ports here configured for 192.168.1. These four ports for 192.168.10. These four for 192.168.20. And these four for 192.168.30. And on our SIM IPE, I have network 2, which is 192.168.10, and network 3, which is 192.168.20. Now I'm going to start on network 2, and we can go down here and see that our setup on it is 192.168.10.2. And I'm going to plug into the same VLAN that my laptop is connected to. And I'm going to type ping 192.168.10. 10.2, which is the IP address of our SIM IPE. And we're going to get the same ping that we got before. But if we just type ping without giving the specification of the address, it's going to come up with all the options that we can do. And right here, the dash I is going to be TTL or time to live. And so if I put a ping dash i space 1, then my IP address of 192.168.10.2, then that's not going to allow it to go through any routes. Now I'm connected directly to it, so it's not going to matter here. I'm just going to hit it, and you're going to see we get our replies, just like we normally did. Can I put a zero in here? I would doubt that would be valid. Yeah, okay, bad option for that. So it has to be at least one. It can be one through 255. But now watch what happens when I switch it to the dot 20 network. So we switch it there. And then we're gonna go back to prepare address, select network, and we're gonna go to network number three. And now our IP address is 192.168.20.2. Let's go back to what we did in the last one. We're going to type ping 192.168.20.2. And we get our reply. And now let's add that I function. So I'm going to type ping space dash I space. And let's start with 2. And then 192.168.20.2. Okay, and it's going to reply exactly the same way as it did in the previous video. Now let's change that. Let's use the up arrow because the up arrow will bring back exactly what we just typed. But let's change that I value to 1. and Hit enter. And now we get the TTL expired in transit. So each time that it goes through a route, it subtracts 1. And if that TTL ever becomes 0, then the router is going to reply that, hey, this packet has gone too far through the routing and we're not taking it any further. I just realized I may have not made one point clear about the TTL. Every packet has its own unique TTL. Where I specify the I2, that is for the ping packet that I am sending to the PLC Tools SIM IPE. Now it is going to return a reply which is a separate packet, and it defaults to a TTL of 100. So when we see this reply here of 99, that's because it is subtracted one going through the router. 
And I have a video that goes more in detail about that. I'll put it down in the description. But mainly, this TTL of two on our ping packet has nothing to do with the TTL of 99 on the return packet. So this is a way that you can reduce traffic on a network. Now, it's only one of the ways that it's done, but this is a very useful way to keep networks from getting clogged with traffic that really isn't relevant. So I hope that clears up what the TTL bit does, and I'll put a link to the PLC Tools SIM IPE down in the description. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.